guys, Joey66 here. We're going to go wash the car really quick. It's a cold day, so I will not be washing it in the driveway. I'm going to use a no-touch automatic car wash so you guys can yell at me all you want, but we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's go do this. I also have another kind of personal announcement to make. So just real quick, you can see it's pretty dirty. Uh, and you know, I know this isn't gonna get it clean. This place is impossible to get anything clean in. And I know some of you don't like this stuff at the automatic car wash. It is brushless. There's no, uh, nothing touches the car except the water and the chemicals. But anyway, I just wanna show you, I'll show you after. It probably won't get it that clean, it never does. But it's kind of driving me crazy and it's too cold to wash it. It's about 40 degrees. I'm not washing this in my driveway. And I do drive it sometimes during this time of year. So uh, we'll take a quick look. And then we'll uh, run it through this automatic and see how much of that it gets off there. It's kind of a rip off, but I need to do something because it's driving me insane. Like I said, this is kind of a ripoff because it's not going to get the car very clean, but uh, it's better than uh, doing nothing, I guess. I don't know. Some of you may disagree with that. It may not be better than doing nothing. But anyway, uh, I come here once in a while. You've probably seen it in videos before if you've watched my channel quite a bit. Uh, once in a while, I'll come here, usually when it's too cold to do it in the driveway. So now we're getting all soaked up here. This is, like I said, it doesn't touch the car other than the chemicals in the water. So hopefully uh, this isn't doing too much damage. I do notice that when I use this more that uh, whatever I've waxed the car with or protected the car with seems to wear off pretty fast. So it probably has some fairly harsh uh, chemicals coming out of there. I don't know. But uh, this is what we're going to do today. It is December, um, beginning of December here. And it's like 40 degrees out, which isn't really too bad, all things considered. But I uh, still don't want to be out there, you know, freezing my butt off in the driveway washing the car. One of the downfalls to uh, Sirius XM radio is that, uh, you know, you can't uh, get a signal whenever you're inside of any type of garage or anything like that. Although, uh, regular radio signals, you know, sometimes you have trouble getting them in the uh, any kind of garage or anything as well. So I guess, uh, you know, it is what it is. So we're just waiting. This takes a few minutes. Uh, hey, like I said, it doesn't do the greatest. Yeah, that's probably really loud, isn't it? <laughs> Here we go. So what is it doing now? Rinsing? I can't even see. The little sign that tells you what step you're on doesn't even really work. So a couple of them light up, the rest of them don't. Anyway, guys, put your opinions down below. Is this a bad idea? Uh, I think it's better than not getting the car wash because, like I said, I do drive it in the winter a little bit. And uh, we have been driving it and it's got some road grime and some crap sitting on it. I just couldn't take it anymore. Loud that's going to be on the audio. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we'll give this a couple more minutes to finish up. I won't bore you with the whole wash, but uh, we'll check it out when we pull out and see what it looks like. The dryer doesn't work that well either. It blow dries the car when you pull it out, but uh, there'll be a bunch of water spots on it and everything because there's a little, it won't blow all the water off. And sometimes when I pull out of here, I will use my drying towels and uh, dry it. But like I said, it's really cold outside today and I don't feel like messing with it. So if I can just get some of this junk off the car, I'll be happy. So the lighting out here isn't the best, but uh, well, it, did, it didn't do too bad, I guess. I shouldn't complain too much, but uh, it's, it looks a lot better than it did. But I do, like I said, I do do this every once in a while. I know some of you guys disagree with doing this and uh, I don't know. I don't think it hurts it too bad. I try to keep it well protected and all that stuff. So. Anyway, it looks a little bit better now. Uh, as you can see, the drying part of this doesn't work very well. But, uh, yeah, some of that junk's off there, but you can still see. Yeah, if I touched that, you'd be able to see that it wasn't clean. I don't know. Is that better than leaving it dirty or not? So the other thing, the little personal announcement I was going to make, it's not a big deal, but uh, I need you guys' support for some stuff. I am currently fasting. I'm only about uh, 19 or 20 hours into the fast right now. Um, I am trying to... Is the truck maybe pulling in here? No, he's not. Okay, good. I wanted to get out of his way if he was. I'm parked in kind of a strange spot. Um, like I said, I'm about 19 or 20 hours in right now, which isn't even really considered a fast yet. I want to try to do 48 hours. 
I'm going to see if I can do this. I've been watching some other people on YouTube, as usual, uh, who are doing this kind of thing. One in particular, uh, his name is Elliot Hulse, if you want to check out his channel, if you don't already know who he is. Uh, very cool guy. He's uh, like a fitness guy, uh, weightlifter, bodybuilder type guy. He owns a gym and uh, uh, does like a lot of... Uh, just a lot of health stuff, both both uh, you know up here and your body, and generally getting your shit together in life and all that kind of thing is kind of what his channel is about. Anyway, he's been doing a lot of fasting type stuff lately, and it kind of got me interested in it. And uh, I thought I'm going to try just a 48 hour to start out with. Like I said, I'm only uh, 19, yeah, I think 19 hours in now. So uh, wish me luck, and uh, I will keep you updated how long I last. Hopefully, I can. Uh, get through at least 48 hours so it's not embarrassing I don't want to have to come back in the next video and tell you guys hey you know what I made that last video half an hour later I ate a hamburger or something so uh, yeah let's hope that I can do this so far it's pretty easy um, I used to fast a lot anyway for about 18 hours at a time I used to do intermittent fasting where you uh, don't eat for about 18 hours and you eat you have, a, you have an eating window and the rest of the day you don't eat I used to do that a lot when I was lifting more weights I've, I've been lifting a little bit of weights I've been back in the gym just a little bit not real hardcore like I used to um, I need to get back to it, trying to find the motivation, and I'm hoping that this uh, fasting will help me with that, hopefully clear my mind and my body and get me back into uh, the fitness thing again, because I look terrible, and uh, it's getting kind of embarrassing. I've lost all my gains for the most part that I gained over the last few years, up until about a year ago, and uh, hopefully this will help, and anyway, it's a little experiment I'm doing, I do a lot of things like this, I'm kind of weird when I do this kind of stuff, but uh, anyway, wish me luck, give me uh, some comments down below what you think of that plan. Also, what you think of sending the car through a uh, automatic, at least it's touchless car wash, touchless, I kind of stumbled there, a touchless automatic car wash, what do you think of that? Is it, uh, well, it'd be better off just to leave it dirty because it's just way too cold out right now to wash it by hand. So I want to thank everybody for sticking with the channel. I'm going to try to get on and do a live stream here in a little while. I am uh, next on the list for a job at work, so hopefully I will get a call. Uh, if I do the, if that if a call comes in before I do my live stream, I won't be doing a live stream obviously Or it could even come in during a live stream that has happened once before so let's hopefully uh, wish me luck guys I want to I got to get out there and work and uh, Thanks guys. Keep keep uh, supporting the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already Please watch the ads or let them run a little bit so I can uh, you know That's how we make some money around here. So anyway, and I certainly need that I won't go into that right now, but we've got some stuff going on Anyway, guys, thank you very much. I appreciate all your help and all of your support. Joey66, drive safe, guys. Take care, and I hope you enjoy the video.